Hi guys, welcome back to Entity Framework 6 um, using database first approach. Um, so we were actually going to create a student and add to the database, um, but my videos are always 10 minutes long, so we run out, of, run out of space and time for that 10 minutes. But I'm actually having an error here, so I'm going to fix this one. Um, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to add it to add the students to the uh, TBL students uh, table and then once you do that make sure to save changes so we're gonna do DB dot save save changes okay so basically nothing happens nothing saves until it hits this line DB dot save changes so basically we're telling it this database entity this instance that we have here that save, save changes so it's going to save any changes that happens to this um, TBL um, students okay it's going to change that and then I want to once that is done I actually want to redirect the view the page I want to redirect it back to the to the to the list you know I, want, I just once it, it saves successfully I want to direct it back to the the back to the index view where we have the list of students so we can see if it is actually added okay so this is redirect this is a um, okay return to redirect return okay so that's we don't need this one anymore this return view model we don't need that anymore okay so this is going to redirect that okay we're gonna test this real quick and make sure everything is looking good uh, okay maybe we might run into some errors but before we do that we need to specify this one this create in the index view so oh no there is create here we want to specify this guy okay create student so it goes to look for create student okay Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot and see. Let's give it a shot for the create uh, create student. Let's give it a shot and see if this works perfectly. Uh, for some reason, I just want to put a breakpoint here just to make sure if it comes here, we know everything is right. If it doesn't, then not something is wrong. All right. So let's try and see. Let's wait and see. Okay. So it's loading. Okay, let's just give it some time. Okay, so it's now finally loading up. Uh, all right, so we implemented this create create new so like create new student I'm gonna click it just to take us to uh, create new student page all right so we have this like a student model which I'm gonna change very soon to st st new student and then I'm gonna say first name is um, Mike last name is um, Jadine Okay, the email is gonna be Mike Mike J at Yahoo. No, sorry, what am I doing? Mike J at at Yahoo.com and then this one is gonna be department of mm, so let's say department of information technology. technology okay so let's create okay so we came here first thing I want you to notice is, is the model so it it posts the model so it, so these are the values right automatically post the model to this place what is that thing that is making it to know how to post it to this model to post it directly to this place I didn't do nothing I just clicked the the button and it's just posting it right here directly what is that thing so let's see here 
in our create create model create student you see this thing using HTML begin form anything anything any model value that is inside these quotes inside this quote so anything that is inside here will be posted to the action method of this take note that what it is posting is the student model the student model so we're telling it that we're binding it to these values here first name model dot first name so I'm telling it okay wherever you see model dot first name in this text box as a text box or editor for if you see the value written inside of this model of first name post it post it to this place using this model that's why whenever you click this guy you click you click this button create and it's of type submit it is going to post everything that is written on any of these text boxes back to this place here that's why we're having this guy here posted here okay I just wanted to show you that because that's a little bit confusing sometimes you don't know how to post the values from your view to your um, to your uh, controller your MVC controller you don't know how to post that this is how you post the values okay make sure you decorate the va the, the this one with HTTP post because as you see you can see it's the same these two are the same but this one is different just because we put HTTP post and then we we are passing in the model okay so let's go ahead and save this value and see how it works for us okay and just you know mapping it just debugging through so I just want to show you gradually so now we have it right now this is where it, it can fail it can fail here if, if everything is not right if it if it goes right here everything is right here then everything is okay that's good everything is okay so we're directed back to the to the controller here you go see we have Mike Jaden Mike Mike J at here information technology and stuff like that this is how you create this is how you create um a new user okay um, so let's do this again without putting this breakpoint here so I don't want it to break here so we can see it um, how it works directly so I'm gonna add another one I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add uh, uh, okay <laughs> let's say keen keen well Kimbell oh that's a nice name Kimbell so Kim at gmail dot com that's the mail okay that's not right <laughs> G <laughs> okay that's not right okay gmail dot com okay this is right okay department let's do plant plant science science department okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna add the student again okay see it added successfully so now you've actually learned in this tutorial in this um, this episode this particular series this particular episode um, how to create a new user how to add a value how to add a user to a database and read the value back from uh, using entity framework from the database um, so this is a very good exercise for you if you're beginning how to create and in the next video I want to try to I want to I'm gonna do how to view details so if I click on any of these guys here I want to view the details of this guy so basically I just want to show this guy alone in a different page as the details yeah so thank you very much for watching this episode um, see you at the next uh, video to implement uh, for us to implement I'm going to implement uh, details okay make sure make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you